Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at Groove Agent SE's ability to import MPC kits. Now the Akai MPC is a family of Groove creation devices. The physical interface of them looks very similar to the pads that you get on Groove Agent SE and it's a, an iconic machine responsible for the creation of a wide range of musical genres and uh, still renowned to this day. They're still expensive and worthwhile machines to work with. Now there are a lot of presets available for the MPC family and Groove Agent SE can import some of those. So I've downloaded one from uh, an MPC tutor site. So there's quite a lot where they are free to download, but also you can purchase larger expansion packs, etc. But this one's just a free one, which was from mpctutor.com. I will put a link in the description. And just going to look at the ability to import this. So again, previously with uh, other software, you had to pay for something to translate between different sample formats and this, that, and the other. I remember paying for one to import all my Akai samples into Halion uh, a very long time ago. And this is now just included for free. So to import this, I've got a blank Groove Agent SE, which I've just done, and then just right click and hit import. So here is the kit. So I'll just take you the folder. This is the cut paste mixology demo kit. So this is a, a reduced version of the commercial one that they produce. And we've got a couple of different folders and it's the MPC 500 one we're going to load up. So you just get this PGM file, but this actually references a bunch of WAV samples which are included. So what we're not seeing just yet, I will just change that so we see any type and we can see that not only is the PGM file there, which tells it what to do, but there's all of these samples. Now this is one caveat here, is typically in Cubase, when you import something, all of those samples get put into your uh, samples folder. That isn't the case here. So this won't be included within your project file or within your audio folder etc so what you need to make sure is if you've downloaded these you put them in a location that you will use permanently so generally i would have put them into my samples folder on my samples drive but i've just put them in a temporary one at the moment if i loaded this up having deleted that folder having deleted these wave files then it would complain about them being missing so that's just one small thing to watch now going to load this kit up and lo and behold, they're all loaded up. It includes things such as mute groups and so on, but we can see if we press the I button to see the information, we've got two, three samples, etc. all these kind of things on here. And you can hear those samples changing over. And it's replicating exactly as it would play on an MPC. So all of those settings have been preserved and carried over. So this can be really useful either if you've got your own library or you want a library of uh, drum sounds to play around with because there's so many available for the, the MPC. So this gives you quick, easy access to it with the proviso, what I said earlier on about the sample location. If you save this with Cubase, uh, you're done. And if you save this as a kit, you're done and you can just load it up in wherever, providing you keep the samples in the right place. The flip side of this is you can also export kits. So this doesn't just apply to Akai kits that you've imported. Um, it also applies to any kit that you've created, no matter what you've done with it. You can right click on it here, you can do export kit with samples. So for instance, if you've got samples from all over the place and you want to put them all in one folder, this is a really great way to do it. So it's a bit like when you do backup project within Cubase. So you can right click, do export kit with samples. You choose the location and file name. So I'm just going to put it in my kits here. I'm going to make a new folder call it exported kits and then inside there I'm going to call it uh, mixology and you can put um, preset tags etc so just those kind of attributes that you can add to presets in Cubase to allow it to be found but I'm just going to give it a name here and click OK and then that gets saved. So everything's been moved into there. And in fact, if we look at that in Explorer, we can see in Export Kits, it's given us the v, uh, VST preset. And then 
in there there are all the samples so they've all been moved so that's a good way to collate samples from all over the place into one folder and then you know you've got them all and they're ready to go so that's a look at the import and export abilities of Groove Agent SE5. I hope you found that useful and we'll see you soon.